I usually like to start with a tinted moisturizer or dewy primer of some sort just to give me that even tone and this essence from CoverGirl is absolutely amazing. I just wear this sometimes alone. Love it. Foundation, I usually just use a drop. That's all you need. You don't need to look cakey. Just put a drop on. I start in the center and work my way outward. This way, it doesn't look as cakey. And I'm telling you, with just this one drop, I can cover my entire face and down my neck even with this one little drop. I like to apply foundation with my fingers, but sometimes I'm just too lazy and I'll do to get my fingers dirty and I'll use a brush. Concealer, lately I have not been putting concealer in my whole center. I just use it what it's for, to conceal spots. I like a bright center, but not too bright. I'll use my fingers or a brush, but either way, you can pretty much get the same I like to set it with some setting powder. I use very little. I even blow off the excess on my brush. That's how little I use. Just to kind of set it. And you don't look as greasy and shiny. Just like mostly in my T zone area. I love a cream bronzer. If you use a dense brush, it works best. I just feel like the cream bronzer, this one is from NARS. It's beautiful. It just gives like a natural look so that it's not dry from a powder. I don't know. It's whatever you have you use. But if you have a powder bronzer, which I also love, a good powder bronzer, this one is smells so good, Physician's Formula. I just use the same way and it looks just as good and just as natural. Now, I think the rule of thumb is to do the number three and that's where your placement of bronzer goes. So that's a backwards three, but it's okay. You understand what I'm saying. <laughs> For the nose, I just use, like to use a little brush. Putting a little more setting powder on. Now with the eyes. Everybody's different with their eyebrows. Everyone likes a different look, a different style. I love using a pencil. Um, I mean, I'll make anything work, but I just change it up a little. Right now, the pencil's working great, and that's how I like to do my eyebrows. If you don't have an eyeshadow primer, just use some concealer. That's fine. Just be sure to pat it with some powder after so that you don't get that crease. We all have typically these colors, no? And if you have any brushes like this, that's all you need. And I'm using this one just to put on in the lightest shade all around my entire eye, the lid, the socket, the top, the entire lid. It's already got like a nice base from the concealer and the powder, but now I want a color base, which is plain. So now I can start fresh, going a step up. I'm putting this above my eye socket and using windshield wiper techniques right above the eye socket because I have aging eyes, so it depends on how your eye shape is. Now, I hate blending. It takes forever. I always just use my fingers, but there we go. And with a thinner, fluffier brush, I'm going into the darker color and giving the edges a little dimension and you'll see the difference when you see the two eyes together but this is how I, I like to just pat it the best way is to like do this ba, ba, ba. but honestly I really just go in with my fingers especially when it's something that needs to take that will take forever to blend watch it you'll get the same result I don't pull on my skin too tight I just do it very lightly and it's so much quicker guys but it's up to you see that and it's like not noticeable but it it really does make a difference in the way your eyes look a bit more sultry doing the same here 
Okay, so step by step, we're getting more and more of a finished look. The middle shade I like to put under my eye. With the eyeliner, I'm using this Victoria Beckham because I want a soft look. Okay, guys, I just messed that up, but I'm keeping it in to show you. Don't wipe it off with a rag or anything. Look, just give it a second and then go in with a dry brush. Gone. So, yeah, I like to go in with a pencil lately. That's just the look I like. It's more natural. It's um, more soft, really, than using a liquid eyeliner, which I also like. Don't get me wrong. But for a classic makeup look, I think this works best. I'm going as close to the lash line as I possibly can. And then I'll go in there on the other side or with a brush if it doesn't have a sponge. And I'll just blend it out, upward and out. See the difference that makes? Big difference. But it looks soft and natural at the same time. You can also dip your brush on the top of the pencil, assuming it's a good one that will come off easy, and do it like that, but that might take a little longer, whatever way you're more comfortable with. Eyelash curler. It's up to you to use it. It really does make a difference. It makes your eyelashes look a lot longer. Sometimes I don't like to use it because, again, I like a more sultry look so that they look more longer to the side, but, and hold it. But a good eyelash curler will give you nice lashes. I'm going to show you how many times I'm dipping my mascara in because one thing I hate doing is it was putting mascara on. I always complain about it. But you really, if you have patience and you just keep dipping and keep dipping, it's better than having a clumpy one. So I would prefer to build my lashes. And that's just how I do my mascara. See the difference there? I don't like to go on the bottom, but sometimes I will, very lightly. I didn't want to edit and cut, edit pieces out of this. I really wanted to show you how many times I dip in to my eyelash, for my eyelashes and everything, for the mascara. I know this is part of my complexion, but I, for some reason, like to do my highlight after. I do not wear highlight every day. I only wear it from going out, but it adds such a nice little touch when the light hits it. It's like, wow. My lips. I always, always, always wear a lip liner. This is not my favorite color, but I couldn't find it. So at the moment, we're going to use this because it's still something. I'd rather use a color that doesn't match than no lip liner. But this actually matches two tones. I'm putting the darker tone and then a lighter tone. This is such a good moisturizer. Anything moisturizing. Look at that. There we go. Here's my look, guys. Classic, natural, for every day or for going out. See you guys in the next video.